Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Moon Pressure Let's Plays. My name is Hecto, and today we are continuing with Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition Hacker's Memories, episode 12. Last time, we went to Jimmy Ken's little get-together to witness the birth of the Demon Hacker Group. And today, we are going to tattle <laughs> with, with Ryuji and go to Zaxxon. So yeah, let's see, Erika shouldn't be back yet, but the Zaxxon forum is just inside of Eden. Should be right through here. Okay, same old, same old. Yugo mo fei mo fuzai no yoda na. I don't see Yugo or Fei around. Shikata nai. Sagashi ni ikuzo. Oh well, let's go look for them. Question mark? Koko ni inai to yu koto wa, osoraku Kuron no mimari ni dete iru ndaro. If they're not here, they're probably somewhere patrolling around Kulun. Fudie ga Zakson ni tekitai shita to gokai sareta kunai. Spy no ken wa. I don't want Zaxxon to think Cutie's looking to antagonize them. We should tell them about the spy thing as soon as possible. Let's split up. Contact me if you find either Yugo or Fei. It looks like Yugo and Fei have gone to patrol Kulon. I think I'll head there too myself. Oh, okay. That was a short visit. Anyways, there is a sparkly here. We got Fey memory. Oh! Oh yeah! The whole memories stuff. We never really got back to that. I have to keep it in mind. Domineering Zaxxon Hacker. Jude was a legendary hacker team. But that's all in the past. Now it's time for Zaxxon to assume that mantle. Hmm. I can't believe all the account raiding that's been going on lately. We must keep order in Eden. Yeah, was Jude one of those law and order hacker groups? I never got that feeling. I thought Jude's was just like a regular hacker group that was just really powerful. But Zaxxon is looking more to be like the Eden police, right? Okay. Kulun level 2. Wait, the firewall is unguarded. We should be able to open it. Okay, slave market was correct. And you says I've tried everything. I'm a regular, and I try something new now and then. Okay. Hmm. Weird. Kulu level three. New old area. Hmm. Hello, sir. Obliging hacker. If you want to go any further, I've got a piece of advice for you. Don't trip. If you fall, there's no way to climb back out. Be sure to watch your step. Oh, wait, is that the area where there's, there's totally a way to climb out if you fall down? Maybe. Shh, I'm trying to focus. I've been working on solving this puzzle for ages, but the answer continues to elude me. How do I get a girlfriend? I must know. Oh yeah, I, I remember this dude. Wasn't he... Like... The guy we had to go around this entire level and ask people how to get a girlfriend? Yeah, I think that was him. Someone told me women would find me attractive if I had a Digimon. Yeah, that's the main character. But there's got to be more to it than that. 
I'm almost 30 and still single. Same. You've got to help me, please. Can you ask the four girls on this floor something for me? Ask them what I need to do once I have a Digimon. Come back when you've heard of from all four of them. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's Lopmon. So, now we know, Lopmon has three horns instead of none. Interesting. Okay, that was a question last time. Hmm. Anyways. I think today I'm only going to do half an episode, or like half an hour episode segment, because I don't think my voice is quite up to the task today. Anyways, let's look and see how far we get. There's girl number one. Okay. And girl number two is up there. Oh, then let's go to number one first. I didn't even pay attention to what was in, in those boxes. Okay, cat ear mate. Huh? How to attract women with Digimon? I don't talk to weirdos. Take this! I actually like her color scheme. The red with the black looks, looks kind of beautiful. I guess she's a goth maid, maybe? Hmm. Uh, oh well, just attack. They won't do any damage anyways. And now... Gaia Element. Like you who take good care of the Digimon definitely leave a good impression on me. Sorry about the misunderstanding just now. Okay, take good care of your Digimon. Sage advice right here. That's number one done and dusted. So let's head up to number two. Hmm. HP capsule B times two, that's nice to see. Okay, more of a mature lady here. Ocean animal office lady, how oddly specific. Does that mean we'll see a place called ocean animals later on? Or is it the aquarium right next to our office that we visited at the very beginning of the game? Hmm, maybe that. You want me to tell you how to attract women with Digimon? Well, that's a little unusual, but I'll help you if you can beat me. Okay. Women seem to be quite a bit, little bit more violent towards Keisuke than our original MC, so... Maybe it was his carefree nature that made women more, more receptive towards the first MC. And Keisuke is just kind of putting them off. I, I don't know. Oh, all of them are viruses. Okay, um, I guess I should change. I don't know, who's the strongest? You, maybe? Miss, nice. <laughs> oh, it's enough. That's good.
<laughs> the little bow. That's kind of nice. The the cap becomes her face. If you ask me, using a tough Digimon to save a girl from danger is sure to win her heart. Okay, take care of people. Save someone from danger. Which is coincidentally an actually proven concept in psychology, like there is such a thing as men risking their lives a lot more often to make themselves look like an attractive partner. Not saying that it's common or anything, but it is actually something that has some psychology behind it. Not sure if it works, but yeah, here it is. Obstructing hacker. Oh yeah, it's it's you. Yeah. He just won't let us through. Hey, oh, an Agumon. We haven't seen one in a regular encounter, I think. This let's play. Yeah. Oh no, we we totally have. Ah, no matter. The the dinosaur dudes. Dinosaurists or whatever they were called. That hacker team had a lot of Agamons on their team, I think. Okay. Ooh, no, not the little girl. The FBI is watching you closely, obstructing hacker. Hello, little girl. No clue which one is the longest river. Anyways, little girl, let me ask you a totally inappropriate question. Young at heart, girl. You want to know how to attract one of the Digimon? Are you some kind of pervert? Digimon, help! Okay, who do we have here? Imkon Renamon? Ooh, Renamon. is a nice choice. We had a Renamon for quite some time in our first LP and it was a beast. Okay, anyways. Nobody here in particular. Who's weak to data. Mm, but Ramon should be able to take out Ramon. Yeah. Okay, Sunflomon, you just beam this Lopmon into oblivion. And now we change. But maybe Ramon can already put him down? I don't think so, but... Oh, it does, okay. Had a lot less HP than I thought. Ooh, Sunflowman with the X heal. Oh yeah, and we already also had a slot left open. That's kind of nice. Sorry about the misunderstanding. I like guys with strong, cool Digimon like yours. Hmm. I don't quite know what to do with that kind of information, but... Oh well. Kogama medal. And up there? Oh yeah, we can't go there. We have to come from behind. To get the chest up, up to the left. Hmm. We still don't have something on champion level to repair Mr. Navit. So... <laughs> okay, it's Nakano Stripe Girl. For, for a moment I thought it said Nakano Stripper Girl. <laughs> no, it's Nakano Stripe. What do you want? I'm in a bad mood today. But if you can beat me in a battle, maybe I'll make some time for you. <laughs> Oh, 
now that I see, like, the girl, doesn't her outfit look kind of similar to a Team Rocket grunt? Yeah, look at her, with the, with the little hat and... and the black jacket. I mean, I, I know Rockets usually wear white in the anime, but in the games they all have this kind of black clothing stuff going on. Hmm, okay, who do we have here? Kudamon needs some data action. And you... Go here. Oh, there was a little bit of lag there. And like this. That should be it. Yay! Character reversal? Mm hmm, interesting. I wouldn't usually lose to someone like you, but your weird battle face put me off. Anyways, let's not dwell on it. Okay, we aren't actually gonna ask her? Okay. In that case, let's return. The encounter rate is kind of high on this floor. Yeah, the Nile is correct. It's the longest river in the world. Okay, hello there. Oh, you're back. I hope you got some useful information for me. Don't know if that was your voice, but here we go. That's it. That's how I can find true love. Thank you, whoever you are. I'll train my Digimon to be as cool and cute as possible. Then I won't be single anymore. Oh, cutscene. Now then, where could either of these two be? Now that I think about it, I don't know what either of them look like. Oh, it's Erika. Hello. Huh? No. Whoa. Arunena, kiyotsukero yo. That was a close one. Pay attention, why don't you? Question mark. Arata, what are you doing here? Roshita, maru de yurei demo mita te kaou da zo. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Nante na, jodan da ya. <laughs> Just kidding. Why am I sick of hearing that all the time these days? Hey, those clothes. Are you that hacker who joined up with Ryuji? Question mark? Yep, that's me. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't know. Hmm, well, I guess you could call us, uh, acquaintances? I only know their names. Why? Those guys are famous. After all, they used to be in Jude. Question mark? Come on, your teammates, you don't even know about Jude? I guess they don't talk about the past. Dot dot dot. You want to know about Jude, do you? Oh, so Keisuke already forgot about the ghostly glitchy Erika standing in the background. Okay, okay. You do you, Keisuke, you do you. Uh, what the heck, I'll tell you. What? Me? I can only tell you what I've heard. Is that cool? If it is, then I'll tell you. 
I want to know how, they, how they've been lately myself. Hmm. Suspicious, Arata. Oh, it's nothing. Come with me. Let's walk and talk. Yep, to totally forgot, totally forgot. Out of sight, out of mind. Hmm. Chitose asks... Who's K? I checked stuff out, but I got nothing. Could be risky. I still say K is a Digimon. Hmm. K... K, K, K. What do we have over here? Is the ghost still there? No, it is not. Hmm, in that case... Any sparkles? Nope. Oh, Arata's little helper is here again. He's actually fighting with us, that's good. see any treasure chests but if I remember correctly we have to go up and all the way around yeah like this and then we should come out on the other side where the digi lab terminal was oh not yet But now, yeah, here we are. Okay, great. I'm kind of scared of what will happen once I step on there. So let me just look and see how my Digimon are doing. Okay, still far off from max level. Huh, Tentomon is nearly there. That's a relief at least. You've just become a hacker recently, right? Just like I thought. You sure look green enough, but it's more about the Digimon programs you have. Does everyone in Hudi use those? I mean... From Keisuke's perspective, he probably shouldn't tell you. He doesn't know you after all, but... Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no kidding? And here I thought these guys like to keep things old school. Guess people do change. Heck. They fell under Zaxxon's beck and call before he, I even knew it. Okay. Oops, sorry. We're here to talk about Jude, right? Jude was active several years ago. Digital monsters hadn't been discovered yet back then. Hackers would use tools they'd made themselves to do their hacking. And then, there was Jude, the biggest hacker team. At the very least, you've heard the name of their leader, right? Arata Sanada. Humble brag? Uh, 
Well, okay then. Yeah, Kisuke has no idea. Nani yori, hitori hitori no gijutsu ryoku ga takai team datta. Rashi. Jude wasn't just the biggest team, but the one with the most technical expertise too. So it's the one that number two of the team. And their leader was Mishima Ryuji. And their second in command was your leader, Ryuji Mishima. Gasp! Ryuji has an actual past with a hacker group I've never heard about. This is so shocking. Who would have guessed that a person that has been existing for like 25 years has a past? How could this be? Sanada Arata tsu no wa gijutsu wa atte mo ma mucha suru yatsu datte mitai desu na. That Arata Sanada guy had the skill, but well, let's just say he was a bit reckless. Ryuji no hosakan toshite yatsu o follow shite ita nda. Jitsu no aniki mitai na kanji ni sa. Ryuji was his deputy of sorts and always followed him around, kind of like a big brother. Number three was Imai Chitose. Who is most popular? Third in command was Chitose Imai. You know who I'm talking about. Mukashi kara hito atari ga yokute, dekei team no masatsu o keigen suru kanshou zai mitai na sonzai datta. That guy has always been good with people and kept the friction down on such a big team, like the grease for a bunch of squeaky wheels. I still don't don't know why Arata is doing this right now. I mean, we know he has some unresolved issues with the Jews, and with Ryuji in particular. Hmm. But he's basically just being like, Hey, you random dude off the street, let me tell you all about a hacker team that you have never heard about, and that doesn't affect you in any ways because it's already gone. He looks chill and has a good eye for people. With him around, most arguments would work themselves out. Several other hackers on the team could assemble unique malware. In other words, Jude had it all. Productivity, mobility, you name it. Um, so they say. Yeah, real subtle there. Naga, Judo legend of Tarashimete, Kibo no Dekasajane. But what made Jude a legend wasn't its size. It was the conviction they all shared. It wasn't a hard and fast rule, mind you. It's just that not one of them used hacking for evil. Oh, kind of nice. Akumademo, Jibun Tachi no Gijutsu, Takameruta, Kokishin, or Mitas Tameni, Aitrava Kodo Staytanda. They only acted to raise their skill or just save their curiosity. I mean, technically invading the Valhalla server as they are about to do is considered a crime, right? We are still invading the server of of a private company, right? So, technically you used your skills for evil. Yeah. Here it is. The Under Zero business too. I'd say they only broke in because they were that kind of people. Question mark? You haven't heard about Under Zero? Eden It's a core server that existed since the start of Eden. It contains all of the log data inscribed into Eden up till now. In other words, it's actually Eden's greatest security fortress. Taking that fortress made Jude the strongest team in Eden, both in name and deed. At least it would have. Yeah, they failed the first time. That is, 
if that guy hadn't shown up. No, it's... it's nothing. Anyways, Jude failed in conquering under zero, and then disbanded, just like that. No, Alright, now it's your turn. Tell me what those guys have been up to late. Gasp! Eater time! <laughs>